We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jalen Waddle, one of the most exciting and explosive players to watch in the NFL right now. He led the league this season with over 18 yards per catch. After only having 9.8 yards per catch in his rookie season, just a difference in the scheme with Mike McDaniel having Tua for another year, it just had Waddle propelled being one of the best receivers in the NFL. He finished with 1,356 yards receiving. And when you have Tyreek Hill on your team, who's the primary target, and you're still getting 1,300 yards, you know you're a special player. There are some things he could work on. He has some concentration drops. And at times, he will just unnecessarily leave the ground at the catch point. All of his problems basically lie there. Like, he still has good hands, so I'm not too worried. It's things he can work on with technique, uh, timing, just being a little more comfortable in that area. But that explosiveness, everyone knows about it. He's one of the most explosive players in the NFL. But that's not what really makes him special, in my opinion. Like, there's a lot of players who come to the league who are fast, explosive, and they don't work out. But he has this football IQ. He understands how to attack, leverage, manipulate DBs, work his pace, his timing, and he understands how to find these open spots. And when you combine that with his explosiveness and he can score every time he gets the ball in his hands, that's what really makes him special. So really look forward to Jalen Waddle for the rest of his career. One of my favorite players in the entire NFL. So let's get right into this one. The Buffalo playoff game, Jalen Waddle didn't have his best performance. He had that big drop early on. And then DBs made some nice plays later when um, the balls were maybe slightly underthrown and they were able to just make a play at the catch point. But he was open a lot in this game. That's something you can't take away from Jalen Waddle, especially on this final drive. Like he made this play and another big play. To just create separation, you can't really, they went man-to-man, -man, and whenever people went man-to-man -man against Jalen Waddle, he just made them pay. Look, he gets an off-man look from this nickel back right here, number seven, and look at him just manipulate the pace and the leverage here. He takes this, like, slow skip release off the line of scrimmage, and then with an outside angle to attack this outside track, and then burst forward for a few steps, and then once he sets that up, it makes it look like he's going to attack vertically with an outside release. And then is able to just slam those breaks. He gets the DB to open up his hips because he's threatened by Waddle's speed. And then just sink those hips, change direction, and he just creates all this separation. And the ball is even thrown behind him. And he makes a nice catch, body control and air. He's got some good body control. And he does have those hands where he can catch away from the catch point. It's just more of a concentration issue. And then, you know, pick up some yards after catch. He's more physical than you think for a smaller guy. He's got some nice play strength. Um, just But that route running is so special. Here we got Waddle at the bottom of the screen, lined up for Sauce Gardner, and the Jets are running cover one, and he's lined up inside, like, the numbers here, versus Sauce, and Sauce has outside leverage. And look how Waddle's able to win on this route. Like, in this situation, Waddle should never be able to just run an out route like this, get on, like, and run basically an out with an inside release, which is very difficult versus cover one, where he has inside help. Sauce is inside help and is playing outside leverage, and he just releases to the inside and just wins with pure speed and physicality. He gets to the inside, starts to stack over the top, and he works through Sauce, who's very physical, very strong, shows off his play strength to get through this, and then just speed cuts it all the way to the outside, create that late separation. That was a third down situation, and this is just not a play that 99% of the receivers in the league can make, like, to get open on this out route with an inside release first cover one like that. Very, very special from Waddle. Might not seem like much, but if you understand what the type of coverage is and the corner you're going against, it's very, very likely that that's not completed to most guys. One thing as the season went on, Waddle got to just show off more and more that explosiveness. Um, a lot of the times he was creating big plays early on in the season, there was a lot of schemed up things where he would get open. But later on in the season, once he got the ball in his hands, he just started creating big plays after the catch. A lot of his big plays weren't after the catch early on, but against the Packers, against the Bills, like these big plays just came out of nowhere. They get this ball, you know, things he's been running over the middle of the field, whether it be slants, glance, dig routes. This time, Tua throws it up, has to get it over because he has pressure in his face. Waddle catches this with no feet on the ground right here. He is, he shouldn't need to leave his feet right here, but he does. And he does this a lot where he doesn't need to leave his feet. But even leaving his feet, this is how especially is usually when a player leaves their feet, they're not explosive after the catch. They get tackled pretty much instantly. But he leaves his feet, still catches it, and then still is able to, you know, beat the angle, get outside, and just look at the explosiveness. Has that wiggle to make the first guy miss. And then Tyreek Hill, great effort to get that block on 31. But Waddle has that ability to score pretty much every time he touches the ball. And it's why his yard per catch number was so high. He was 
Hill was like the main target guy, get him involved pretty much everywhere. He would have big plays, short plays, get the ball in his hands quickly. But Waddle was that guy was where you getting him the ball, he's probably picking up 15 yards plus. Here we got him versus Trey White. He had two big plays in this game. Down at the bottom, they're in cover three, but he's basically locked up on Trey White and man-to-man. -man, so it's, it, they're running zone everywhere else, but it's man-to-man -man principles when they're on the backside of the three by one. Trey White showing some press and Waddle just burns him off the ball. Trey White, a very good corner, but did struggle with uh, Waddle's speed this year. The couple times they matched up, like he got behind him a few times, but he just set, sets this up like he's going to break. It's a third and fourth situation, so he's selling that he's probably going to you know, break near the first down, start this off slow, and then accelerate, but hits him with a double move, and he just blows right past him. That's how much speed he has, and he does a better, like, uh, later on in the playoffs, there was a ball that was slightly underthrown that got broken up by Trey Wright, even though he burned him, but here, it's he creates enough separation, even on the underthrow, where it doesn't matter, and then he goes up at the catch point to, like, use his body as a shield, so good job right there by Waddle. It shows that he's at least capable of that. But it's just that ability, the release off the line. He understands what he's doing. He starts it slow. Then gives him a little hesitation right here like he's going to break because they've been running a lot of breakers, not a lot of vertical routes at this point in the game. And Waddle, with that explosiveness, just blow by him. And then the big touchdown, they get Waddle lined up in the slot. And it's just a great play call because they rotate this safety down. They're showing a split safety field look early here. And... It ends up being like a cover three, but this safety is cheating to the three by one side. So the middle field is being open because this guy comes down to Rob and Waddle just gets in behind it. And he's just so explosive. Great read by Tua. Great play call by McDaniel. Look at Waddle just, he has to slow down a little bit to catch this ball. And as soon as he catches it, he just accelerates so much. Like this safety should have the angle on him right here. He is slowing down, um, not sprinting at all. This safety right here has the angle and he just explodes um it's actually demar hamlin but um great play by waddle right there just a perfect execution and he just is so fast after that acceleration was really you know brought into full force the later the season went on he just didn't get to see it too much because there would be situations where there would be so many guys that you'd have to make miss he never got to fully accelerate but when he has that open field it's a special thing to watch Jalen Waddle at the top of the screen, and he really got to show off his route running, those release abilities on these third downs. Just hits this corner with a crossover, able to get the outside leverage. Like, this is not something that you see a lot of receivers capable of doing. Like, the Browns are in cover three, and with his tight alignment, like, the corner is playing outside leverage. He even opens up his hips. He's got the full outside. Waddle just gives him this hard inside release. And then once he gets the DB to open up his hips, he just times this up perfectly to get on that outside track. Even sets it up like he might break back to the inside, gives him a little bit of a wiggle to freeze the feet of the DB, and then just gets outside separation. He does this with this manipulation. It's just beautiful. It's like an art watching Waddle run some of his routes, and that explosiveness combined with it, it makes him very difficult to cover. Um, he's just been abusing secondaries all season long. This is third and two situation, and just look at the effect that Jalen Waddle has on a defense right here. Look at this corner like look where he's playing and also just the effect of the offensive play calling they are expecting you know these deep in breakers even on a third and two he's playing you know six seven yards off and waddle just hits him with the whip route and it just creates all that natural separation just because of what they're scared of him running most of his routes are much farther down the field with that 18 yard per catch average but he's still able to run these routes in the intermediate short range and uh it's that effect people have when you know he has that speed to get over the top very easily we've seen what he's able to do when people oppress him but he's also able when he gets that soft press uh deep zone looks they're just playing 10 yards off the ball he can make you pay in pretty much every single coverage slot fade to waddle his second touchdown in this game actually this one super impressive you get him in cover one they're bracketing tyree kill this is the beauty of having tyree kill on your team they have this bracket the safety is not able to get to the slot fade and this guy has no chance just gets over the top you see waddle just gives a slight hesitation he gives him a split release which gives him a two-way go he squares this guy up and then just explodes to the outside this guy has no chance and good tracking the ball over your shoulder right here by waddle this is not a super easy catch catching this over the shoulder in stride doesn't slow down at all and gets the touchdown just would love to see more and more of this more vertical shots more of him against man-to-man -man. teams were very scared to run man-to-man -man because every time they did uh waddle was making them pay is all along with tyreek hill this is one of the biggest plays in the season i know it came in week three but this third and 22 conversion by the dolphins offense 
they get cover two here and waddle just creating the separation on these deep safeties it was very very special to watch to it does a great job manipulating with his eyes right here waddle just hard inside releases so he doesn't get rerouted by the flat corner so the corner just lets him go and he just is able to attack this safety with all this room he look at the cushion that this safety has he takes that hard inside release and then starts bending this to the outside shows his eyes his body to manipulate this he gets this db to open up just enough and look when he makes this hard cut back to the you know he runs this corner post back to the middle and he's still you know seven eight yards away from the safety and that's still able to make this db move off his track from that far away really special it was one of two of his best deep throws of the year hitting waddle and stride and just that ability to hard play on the outside change that direction maintain your speed catch this at the catch point really really great stuff there from Jalen waddle it was a huge turning point of the season because this allowed you know the dolphins to take the lead in this game they end up winning starting three and uh very important win because obviously you don't win this game you don't make the playoffs this is one of Waddle's biggest yards after the catch play, actually, uh, earlier in the season. He didn't have too many early in the season. Right here, you get him lined up. You get him working like a stick and nod, so it basically gets him lined up against the linebacker. Um, and it's versus zone, cover three. This guy's cheating to this side of the middle of the field. Waddle breaks his route, works back towards the middle. Uh, the linebacker kind of falls for the bait, along with his eye manipulation. And this ball's put on Waddle's back shoulder to protect him from the safety. He catches this, flips his hips around, and instantly turns into a runner, anticipates where the safety is going to be. And then he just starts making guys miss, shows off that explosiveness. Like in this situation right here, once this guy falls down and he sort of starts to hesitate, this safety, he has to slow down. So this safety definitely has the angle to get over the top and stop him from getting out here. And the ability to just stop your feet, make him miss, and he would have scored if he didn't have to slow down and the other guy kind of caught up a little bit. But they, he made him miss in such a little tight space, tight window. And then another safety. But this allowed him to pick up an extra 20 plus yards with his uh, speed, his ability after the catch, change direction, stop, start. It's just super special. This was just a combination of everything from the route. Uh, good football IQ explosiveness there manipulate and then the anticipation after the catch with the explosiveness combined with that really really high level play there from Waddle last play that I'm gonna break down his first touchdown of the season versus the Patriots on that fourth and seven um, this is where I feel like the offense really kicked off the season once it was kind of a slow start in this game wasn't super perfect but when they got this fourth and seven Waddle touchdown it built that momentum sort of into the next game uh, against the Ravens you get Waddle and man-to-man, -man, cover one. <laughs> There's inside help with a, a rat linebacker and a deep safety. And he's still able to just get up into the corner. He just eats up the cushion, doesn't really waste any time. And then he puts out that right hand to just create a little subtle separation right at the catch point. The timing's perfect. Hits in between the triangle of defenders. And he has that explosiveness to just run between them, make them tackle themselves, score a touchdown on a very unlikely situation to score a touchdown on. It's just that's the effect Waddle has for a team like this. Um, look forward to the years to come with Waddle. He's just such a fun, exciting, likable player to love the Waddle celebration, love his energy that he brings. I know some people were, there was some hate in the Buffalo game because he had that big drop. The other ones weren't drops. They were just great plays by the DBs. One of them was underthrown too, um, but Waddle is going to be fine that's that's for sure definitely keep him around for a long time he's just a special player and you know Tyree Kill him best duo in the league for sure they I think the secondaries of the league would agree that they're the toughest duo to cover so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time peace